hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'll be doing a holiday makeup I know it's kind of late and I do apologize even though it's holiday season in our country it's still very hot in the morning and in the afternoon but in the evening it's really really cold so and I'm kind of sweating right now I do apologize again first off I would like to greet to all of you a merry 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 Christmas and I hope that every one of you a lot of you are with their loved ones if ever they're, they're you're, you're not with them because others are living very far away or because of the pandemic it's locked down I just wish that you could still celebrate Christmas with your loved ones through internet so by zoom by Skype you know so yeah in this video I'll be doing a holiday makeup again yeah, yeah it's late but it's better late than never okay so I've already uh, as you can see I've already prepped my skin I'll just show them to you uh, I prepped my lips with this body shop lip balm for my face I prepped it with the Garnier micellar and this there which is all and if you notice on my nails yeah I painted it with a bit of a shimmery holographic green to have that kind of Christmas feels yeah of all the season Christmas is my most favorite of all because everyone is happy even though through this pandemic still people find their ways to become to be happy and then on my sunscreen I apply this very mix from Exfolia and then for my moisturizer I applied my Olay Total Effects and for my face primer it's not here right now because my younger sister borrowed it it's the Maybelline baby skin I'm trying to use that up to be honest alright so that's why I've been using it every single day now for my foundation, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me. I know this is a long product already. This is way too long. I've been in a late bag or so. But uh, my shade is Classic Ivory. During this, especially this colder season, my face tends to be more pale. So, yeah. And I decided to use this because I do have a lot of zits you know and uh, because of those face mask I hate it. probably the face mask is not really um maybe a uh, face mask the chemical used on that face mask is not good that's why but the um, previous face masks I've been using it are they they're, they're good I don't have a problem with zits or whatever this was really creamy and I'm using this Real Techniques oh, sponge to be honest I don't like sponges to apply my makeup but lately I don't know I find it especially now I do have a lot of zits pimples yeah blemishes all over my face and it kind of the application kind of help me um, so I find it really is great for application and really does kind of give an additional cover on my skin because you are step like a dabbing motion not like the brush is your kind of you know having that buffing motion so, so you know what I mean okay I've already also applied never mind does it just use another foundation to deal with this okay now I've already done my brows in case you're wondering uh, my brows I used this Revlon Colorstay Brow Crayon in soft brown 
Then I use this e.l.f. Instant Lip Brow Pencil in taupe, which looks like that. And then on top of that, I used this Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in soft black, which also looks like that. I had a comb it with the spoolie, which is on the other end. All right, the foundation I'm, I'm going to use here, yeah, it's, it's CoverGirl Echo Smooth. This one is much more thicker. And then this maybe it's thick. So I'll just use my sponge on this and kind of lightly dab it like this. Sorry about that. And I'll just dab those little blushes. Yeah, just embrace it. Those who cannot, just picking through. Just continue dabbing it with the sponge. And I think that's okay. I'm going to take now for my cream brush. I'm going to take this. This is the Stila Convertible Color in Lilium. I don't know if you could read. Looks like that. I'll just use the sponge. I think it's way easier. And just tap the motion. Yeah, I think I put too much, but never mind. I'll just settle and then we'll just try to set it again. Okay. For my cream contour, nothing new. I'm using this Chanel Bronze Universal. Use that motion, it's easier. So how are you guys? I know it's been a while. I think it's two weeks since I uploaded a video. I'm sorry about that, I've been busy lately. I don't know why, but during the year end, during the last quarter of the year, during the last quarter of the year, um, every people are very busy, probably because uh, they have to pay those land taxes, early payment of land taxes. And they have to pay those other Jews that they need to pay before the year ends because you know you get you get a discount if you pay in advance and I'm also paying a kind of use of paying my our land tax early before the year ends so so that next year I don't have any problem with that so let me just that's why and there's a lot of you know holidays like 24 25 it's a holiday and before before that there's also other holidays that's been declared by our government so yeah okay see it's kind of lighting it up now all right i'll just let that set for a while now let's go with my eyes so i'm going to take my primer I'm going to use this Essence I Heart Stage Eyeshadow Primer. This has a beautiful fishy undertone. I do have a backup of this. Um, it was on sale. Then, kind of. I don't know. Uh, I used this for a couple of days before, before there was a pandemic. You can use makeup all over your face. I always have my makeup routine every morning. Um, I find there's a creasing in it. So 
probably because it was summer in our country in this humid country it's really really hot when you say it's summer it's really really hot and when you say it's cold it's really really cold I do have a natural oily lids so probably because it's summer it become, becomes more and more oily so I don't know but I want to give this another shot okay I'm just using the real technique sponge. It's supposed to be a little bit crazy, I don't know why. Okay, now this is the first time since it's holiday, so I'll try to use this one. I know this is limited edition. I don't know if you can still buy this online, but I found this at the shopping website. I don't know, someone just bought bought this, selling this, so brand new. It's still brand new, I haven't used it yet, look at that. I haven't used it yet, so oops, sorry. So yeah. Okay, so let's start. Um, first off, I'm going to take this one. This is choose latte, right here, center. And I'm going to use this fluffy brush. I don't know what is this, but I just bought this off at Shopee. I just love it it's very very fluffy and the problem with this one is very powdery so and I'm gonna apply this on my crease oh, I've been thinking if I'll do a halo kind of eye makeup or just a normal kind of makeup and we used to so probably I'll just use the halo on my new year makeup look so, New Year's Eve makeup look so do watch out for that but that now I have other video content lining up over there so I have to first use the duck I mean I have to um, shoot that first before doing that probably by the end of this year I'll do that but I promise it won't be so so late like this one is honestly it's this is just an impromptu i know this will be a very 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 long my first or initial thing of shooting a video is the getting ready with me on January shop my stash but since i'm wearing this kind of beautiful christmasy shade as well jump right into Christmas holiday makeup so and then same brush I'm going to take this bronze me like this and I'll try to to deepen the end right here and then pull that inwards Use a circular motion and then close that inward right here. Just right here. Stop right here. Okay. Okay. So let's just leave this first. Let's jump to my waterline. I'm going to use this Urban Decay 24 7 Glide On Pencil in Cosmic. This is a white. So yeah. I love this. I love this shade. I think the shade Yayo is more lighter than this one. This one has the kind of creaminess on it. This one, this is a tapered fluffy brush. Um, this is Coastal Scents. What this is BRC S06, and then I'm going to take hmm, tickle pink right here, put that on top, 
on the lid right there. Now this one's really really light, a very very light pink. Okay. Same brush. I'll use white on right here. Yeah. And put that on top of the lid. Then I'm going back to my fluffy brush, which is this one right here, without putting anything on, blend that. Back to what on, same brush, a fluffy, tapered brush. Brush. And I'm going to put this right here on the arc of my brow. going out of this pad first. Let's go with this one. I'm going to take this MAC pigment and the shade is Naked. Now this one is really really very powdery. So I suggest that first what you will do is you will turn it upside down like this so that to avoid too many fallouts and then I'm going to take this one, this is the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. Now this one is kind of a dense eyeshadow, so brush. This is a dense eyeshadow brush. So just pick up my back up of that one. Mint eyeshadow. To be honest, I don't like pigments because they're messy. Especially if you're wearing contact lenses. I don't think this is safe for contact lenses unless the company would make that, but pigment is pigment. Yeah. And then use your sponge again to remove those fallouts. This is the NARS Coconut Groove. I love this. I do. You can use this as an eyeshadow. You can use this as a liner. This eyeshadow C brush. Make sure you clean it. But never mind. You don't need to. And I'm going to smudge it. You can use an angle brush if you want. For me, I can use the shadow. Let's just use this. I think this one is much better. And deepen the outer portion of your eyes. It's not. Okay. And then take this. Um, tapered brush and then the crystal sets and then on the outer portion kind of blend it upwards let's see okay all right and then do that on the other eye i'm going back to this fluffy brush go back to this palette i'm going to take this one called chocoholic just on the tip and put this on the outer portion and drag it inwards. I'm going to take this. This is a Coastal Sense eyeshadow brush, uh, uh, the large eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to take my Essence Lockbuster. Just this one and I'm going to apply this for my under eyebrow habit I do have a couple of under eyebrow highlight like the wet and wild I do have a couple of backup for that so don't have to And then going back to this eyeshadow C brush from ELF without putting anything on. Put that on your lower lash line. And drag it right here. Like that. Nothing new. This is the uh, Maybelline Falsies lash lift.
my problem with mascara is that I do have always, you know, smush right here. Every, even though they say it's smush proof, it still smudges. And yeah. And by the end of the day, I do have a black hat. Good. And if I'm if I'm going to clean up my face, remove my makeup. Um, if I'm going to remove my makeup, I do have lots of fallout lashes. Again, go back to your sponge and clean up the mess. Okay, for my under eye concealer, I'm going to use this Cover Girl and Olay corrector. Now, this one is really too yellow for me. Okay, and I'm using this Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. under eye concealer routine right now so after I put that only one I'm going to take this wet and wild photo focus color corrector and the shade is peach yeah this one is really really great since the this one is corrector yellow I'll just mix it with the corrector peach and my gosh look at First I'm going to set my under eye. I'm using this Ben Nye banana and this is just a fluffy eyeshadow brush from Coastal Sense. Then to set my face, I'm just using this up. This is the matte BB veil from L'Oreal. And this is the brush. This, I just bought this at shop. And such a great brush, to be honest. Then I'm going to set my face using this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Pineapple. And then on my lips, I'm going to take this Maybelline Alice and Olivia. It's actually a limited edition. Um, I don't know the shade. Oh, the shade is 656 The New Nude. Which looks like that. with a little bit kind of reddish orange so I'm going to take this NYX the planner in orange I'm gonna mix this too going to use a cream highlight um, this is actually elf facial shimmering lip do you still remember this I love this one a little goes a long long way with it so I'm just gonna put at least one to two drops back of my hand and I'll just use the sponge to apply it I love 
I like. Yeah, highlight is the last thing I ever apply on the face before I set my face. All right, so yeah. Okay. And that is it guys thank you so much for watching again merry christmas and hope all of you have a wonderful day bye